wonder if you can see and make it out. This field is full of Canadian geese and I guess they're going to start their migration because here it's starting to get real cold. Now, if you're running in the morning, hands are getting cold. It's 7 degrees Celsius and feels a little bit colder, but <sighs> so nice. That's life as a runner, isn't it? <laughs> Running's going really well at the moment. I've got a physio appointment in five days, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he says. But right now, it's just about getting consistency in running. And that's like one of the biggest keys, I think, for running is being consistent. But that's what it is. If you want to really succeed at your running goals, you've got to be willing to kind of dedicate yourself to it, put the work in and well, you're pretty much always going to reap the rewards if you put in that effort. People are still skiing without the snow. But I'm out here in Helsinki Central Park and great that multiple people doing different sports can use it for different reasons. But for me, it's just an easy run. To be honest, when you're just doing smaller runs like I am at the moment, it can get a little bit boring doing the same kind of routes from home. So I've kind of incorporated driving to work and stopping here at the Central Park and doing my run here. But that's a little tip. If you're getting bored and lacking a little bit of motivation because you've seen all those surroundings near you, go somewhere fresh, go into the outdoors and it really opens up the mind and yeah, it just helps so much. And if you're interested to know where I work, well, yeah, I help build this watch. I work at Sunta. And they always say, find a job that you love and you'll never work another day in your life. And I kind of finally feel like I found that because my life is to run and to be active with a sports watch. So yeah, I mean, super grateful for that. Just the perfect way to start the morning. Get out for a nice easy 10K, fresh air, forest. What else could be better? First run in the New Balance 1080 V11. Obviously some thoughts and opinions coming on that in a bit. But right now, I better get on to work. So yeah. I work at Saunter. For those of you that didn't know what exactly I do, well, first of all, let's take a few steps back. Sonto makes GPS sports watches along with diving equipment and originally uh, compasses. So pretty cool company to be a part of. But what I exactly do here, well, without going into too many details, I am involved and part of like the testing team. So I make sure that our future products and our current products are tested uh, well and truly so that when they go out to the consumer and people out there like you know all, all of you out there watching it that it you know lives up to what it should be doing so it's, it's pretty exciting to be involved with like such a large community of people who are so passionate about sports about running and about these devices and everything and that's a really cool thing for me it's not just about you know the tech that's pretty cool as well obviously but being with like-minded people when you surround yourself with like-minded people and the news that you surround yourself with that's a super cool thing for me and I'm very grateful for that and I know I'm very lucky to be able to have conversations that I do at work and you know we're always talking about some types of sports and such and what running shoes and I've got the best teammate as well Mikko you've seen him in some of the videos we, he was training for the Vantar marathon as well my, my job basically is to go out and run and test some watches and stuff like that I mean yeah <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty lucky, yeah, I do know that. So the task on hand today, yeah, we had these New Balance 1080 version 11s and my first time running in New Balance shoes for a very long time. I think I had some about six years ago. I'm not 100% sure for some reason, but um, yeah, 
I enjoyed these. There's some things which I wasn't 100% sure on and some things that were really cool and really nice and comfortable and familiar, but I'm not gonna give any thoughts and opinions after 10 kilometers only. I think that's just, you know, that's not a real insight of it at all. So hit some more kilometers into these and I'll be sure to bring a review to the channel. Just a heads up though, I have been in communication with New Balance and they provided the shoes for me. I actually went to their office here in Finland and we had a little bit of discussion and I was offering to pay for the shoes and because I want to have a real honest opinion, I don't want to be influenced by anyone or forced kind of like feel guilt tripped into saying certain things. The guys there were super understanding and they were willing to give me the shoes and like they, they have great confidence in their product and said like, be completely honest. Obviously there are gonna be some things that are different for some people that they do and don't like. So please, you know, just do what you want, enjoy running, and well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm very reluctant to kind of take anything from anyone or have collaborations, and this by no means is a collaboration. It's just the fact that they're giving me running shoes. And that's something I really want with this channel is to grow and evolve so we can hit and reach more people and inspire and motivate and learn from each other. But to do that also, I want to have a little bit more knowledge and just doing one thing over and over again like running in the same types of shoes, you can be a little bit of a stagnant for your mind and also the knowledge on the running industry in that sense. And that leads to one of the points I say that if you're always doing the same thing in running, if you're always following the same training program, if you're always running in the same shoes, sometimes you maybe don't have as much room for well, adaptation but also growth in that. Sure you, sure, you might know your routines, you might know what works for you, but sometimes a little bit of change can help you grow a little bit. And that can be in the side of knowledge or in physical kind of endeavors that you might imp improve your fitness or recovery. And here I am, I thought, you know, I want to not be so stuck into one brand. I really do love running in Adidas, Adi Zero range specifically. And I don't want to just be stuck in only running in them. So here I am opening up my kind of knowledge area, try running in some New Balance. And I think it's healthy for the feet to have different form factors of shoes. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm still getting back into running, running every other day, and I'm gonna be sure to bring more running content as soon as I start upping my training, getting stuck into it a little bit more. Thanks for watching the video as always. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.